Welcome to Let's Play Punch Out. This is Ron Morlon, the Star Soldier. Oh yeah, how's everybody doing out there? Oh yeah, so this is the not not the one with Mike Tyson, but with Mr. Dream. What? Yep. That's it. I'm unsubscribing. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'll do something different because it'd be the obvious thing to do to pick Mike Tyson's punch out and the I know it's the same. Baron Holyfield. Yeah. Lance Lewis. It's the same game, but uh it'd be kinda cool to fight what's his name again? Uh Mr. Dream, just to, for it to look different. <laughs> so I decided to go with that one. And here's a tough opponent, Glass Joe. Yeah. From Paris, France. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was kind of uh F U to France or French people. I guess so. Why do people hate France so much? I don't get it either. Well, George St. Man, Pierre, he's a, like French and he's like an amazing fighter. Yeah. I know in like after 9-11 people I guess mad at him for not wanting to join forces and attack. <laughs> they call uh, him Freedom Prize. Yeah. Because you just win not that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, last show. And when I was a kid, I did lose to him on purpose just to see what would happen. <laughs> just to see how he would celebrate. Because you never lost to him. I mean, I, come on. Who lost to Glass Joe legitimately? Yeah. I actually did that for the Nintendo Wii version. It was cool. But just a hit. Oh, it's just sweet Glass Joe. Uh -huh. Yeah. So as we got beats up Jeff, <laughs> this could be it right here. <laughs> yep. Is he actually is that it. small? We got <laughs> yes. No, I was kidding. Four foot one. <laughs> that always freaked me out about the original Punch Out. That the guy was so tiny, and he's beating up these well, giants. They, they, they did that because obviously they couldn't emulate the game from the arcade version. The NES couldn't handle that. Yeah. I'm, so I'm, they made little Max small so that you can see your opponent. Yeah, I remember the huge wire frame bots are in the original arcade. Yeah, I've never played that one. It's I didn't actually know that pretty existed. cool. I never knew that existed until like a few years ago. Yeah, this one plays better, but, you know, the graphics in the arcade original were so much. You can actually see the characters, you know, in Mode 7. You had two screens to work with. It was awesome. And you had yeah. characters like Glass Joe, you know, Bad Bull, and Pasta Pizza in it. Wait, was it was it Bad Bull or Bald Bull? Or Bald Bull, yeah. Okay, I thought it might have been different in the arcade. No, I think the only change in the arcade is that you had characters like Kid Quick, Pasta Pizza, which never made an appearance in any other Punch-Out game ever again, because they were kind of crappy characters. And Soda Pop Pinsky was changed from Fuck vodka, Trump whatever. Pinsky. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because Nintendo didn't want to advertise, you know, illegal liquor. Yeah. Or, you know, just liquor in general. Yeah. Yeah, so we get, you know, two losers here, and then we go out to this huge giant guy from Japan. Yeah, this is the first real challenge to me. Yeah. And 20 sits in one. How do we yeah. go from, you know, 1 in 99 to a and guy who's 26 in 1? Yeah. Yeah, this guy, because this guy really knows how to block, and he was my first tough challenge when I was a kid in this game. It took me a little while to beat him. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty much a reskin of Mike Tyson before, you know, yeah. he became a reskin of, you know, Mr. Dream. Yeah. Oh. Oh! <laughs> I did work with someone a long time ago that looked just like him. What? Not the face, but just the the hair and the head and the eyebrows. That's how my friend. 
Sounds like pissing on him for punch out. Let me start laughing. <laughs> Is he Japanese? No, he's Hispanic. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, you really do have to have a lot of heart to beat this game. <laughs> yeah, that's another change from the arcade one is that they actually add hearts in this version. Ah. And before, if you wanted to raise up your, you know, uppercut meter, you had to raise a bar at the bottom instead of getting like perfect counters. Ah, okay. He has big feet. Yeah, square head. I wonder if you paw drop him, he'll stand up on his head. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. That, that made him mad. <laughs> oh. yeah, it's nice of him, you know, to raise his eyebrows before he throws a punch. And Matt yeah. there looks kind of, kind of drunk. <laughs> yeah. As Carl Winslow gives him some advice. <laughs> You know, said it rings twice. I, I think it might Tyson's punch out. It, the bell rings once. Yeah, maybe. I'm like nobody cares about that. Only <laughs> I would notice something like that. As we got said in the first time we tried to do this commentary, it's the little things. And yeah, this is like our second take in doing this. The audio quality was messed up, and we got and Jeff could not be back to do commentary, so. <laughs> This is me and Star Soldier instead. Sorry well, about that, everybody. But you'll see them in part three. <laughs> huh? Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> well, you'll see them in part... You'll hear them in part three. You guys already got the <laughs> first three commentaries recorded here. Come on. This is uh, actually Honda's cousin, from what I understand. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, and they all drive Honda cars. Yeah. Yeah, and the Wii version, he was named uh, Hondo instead of Honda. I think, uh, you know, the car company you know, was kind of mad at Nintendo for doing that. Hmm. So you got to change the uh, Oh, <laughs> That's stupid. Yeah. I would be flattered if I was Honda. Okay, so a little Magwar is pink from... <laughs> <laughs> I always thought that was mean. Here's this girl jogging behind Doc Lewis, and he's riding a bike. Yeah. I always thought it was a girl. I didn't know that was actually a little Matt there in the pink jogging suit. Wait, so you thought, well, who's this random girl yeah. that's jogging with uh, Doc Lewis? Yeah. With two frames of animation. <laughs> yeah. His little Mac wears uh, the pink suit, I guess, that Schaefer had in the Predator video game for NES. No, I don't know, but uh, that that is the end of part one, the minor circuit. I will see you guys in part two for the major circuit. Until then, God bless and take care. Prepare for another knockout, baby. Woo!